I want to prove to my wife that I can run a tech company, tell Kyle what to do on a daily basis, and watch my three-month-old daughter while my wife is at work. I don't hear anything recording. Is it recording? Yeah. Damn it. It is recording. Okay, we'll just- Does it show for you? I can restart. The, where it does, does it show? show? That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, everybody. Jeremy Redmond here, uh, along with Kyle. How is it going? Hey, Kyle. Thanks. Thanks for being here. As we do some of the stupid series. This is part two of the stupid series. Are you stupid, Kyle? You're stupid. Uh, sometimes. Are you? <laughs> Depends. We're, we're gonna get. We're gonna get stupid. We're gonna get stupid today. Okay. Let's do it. Because someone on our own internal staff was somewhat confused buy this cookie piece and I'm trying to figure out why, okay? So we made an initial cookie video, all right? This is the new cookie video, all right? How we do with these cookies or what we do with these cookies is we take that from a Chrome extension that you have to install and it's so quick. You can literally do this within 30 seconds and you can use it on every automation. So once you have this extension installed called edit this cookie, you should be good to go to just copy paste everyone. So I'm, we're gonna clear a couple of these things up on what you need to do when you're using a platform like LinkedIn or Apollo or Instagram or Facebook, and you wanna completely bypass login. It will save your session, bypass 2FA, and I will test it right here with you. So check this out and let us know if it's confusing after watching this video, because we gotta know. We're here to automate your life, right Kyle? We are. I want to automate my life. I want to prove to my, here's my mission. I want to prove to my wife that I can run a tech company, tell Kyle what to do on a daily basis and watch my three month old daughter while my wife's at work. I don't know if I can, I'm used to working 70, 80, but I'm going to automate everything. How's that sound, Kyle? Let's do it. Let's do it. I, we can help you do it too. Okay. So cookies, when you hit new automation, okay. We are launching the ability to have guided tutorials, all right? Again, to help everyone with, with how to start. And right now it's called Scrape a Website, okay? As we posted in one of the last videos. So here we will have some guided tutorials in the next week or so. Um, and what this is, is a guided tutorial. These are on these nine sites, they're all guided. And I'll show you what that means. So you click LinkedIn, things to know, right? And this is the first Getting Stupid series. So you can watch that or not, right? It just tells you exactly kind of how it works. But then you hit go, all right? So tips on handling login. This is the important part, and this is the old cookies video. Cool. So tips on, are you logging in? You would click, yes, I am. Don't click not on this one, because it doesn't make sense to me or Kyle why you would click on not on this one if you were handling login. Kyle, does that make sense? I, I agree with you here. Okay. Now, little caveat, we are trying to automate this piece. So without having to do the extension, but for now, this is how it's done and it's somewhat easy. So you say first, so yes, I am. Okay, uh, add your cookies. Well, I'm confused. Well, how to get your cookies? Oh my God, okay, great. So download this Chrome extension in your normal Chrome browser. What extension? Oh, you can click on this. Okay. So edit this cookie. So add to Chrome, add extension. Let's see. Oh, edit it. So it's already been done. Okay. Amazing. So I've got that now. So I go back here. All right. Click the puzzle icon and then pin edit this cookie. Okay. So I go back to the regular Chrome browser. I hit, okay. What is pin this cookie? So this is pin the cookie, Kyle? That is. Cookie cow. Okay, great. Oh, now, now this looks good. Okay, so now this looks like what I have in here. Okay, great. All right, now click the cookie, then export. The piece Kyle does not put in here that he will put in here is what is the next step, Kyle? Clicking the cookie icon. False. Go to Chrome. There you go. False. No. It is going to the site you want to save your login, get the cookie from. Right? I thought that was in the direction. Was it not? No, it's not, oh. Kyle. Add it. Okay, okay. Add it, Kyle. It's not in there. So Kyle will do that, but I'm showing you right here. Now, now that I'm at LinkedIn and I'm logged into LinkedIn in my regular Chrome browser, all right, 
I can simply click this cookie, like the direction says, and then this one here, one, two, three from the right, and one, two, three, four, five from the left. This icon here, it's called export. All you do is click it once and it says cookies copied to clipboard. You go back to our app and then all you have to do is press this button. Boom. And then go start recording. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, sweet baby Jane. Skipped login, skipped captcha, skipped 2FA, logged in right? And it already put, already put my URL and here's the guide we will tell you about. Look at this guide, Kyle. How about that? Now, Pretty great design. This is great. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so here we go. So, okay, we're logged in. So that was the cookies part of it. Okay, cool. Look at this guide, right? We know it's already, it's already brought in the URL, so I don't even have to wonder what URL am I going to, okay? Now, you'll see the first step here. To search for something, you first want to use a type step to type in the search box. Press type below to see the next step. Now, you know what to do, okay? You know, here's the search box on the page, all right? You don't have to put in the URL. And what is the next thing, I? what is the next thing, Kyle, I do? So reading this, I would press type here, right? Yeah, and or then click you're gonna go type. type. In the Whoa. Okay. Great. When you're done typing in the search field, come back here and confirm the step below. I can't do it right now because I haven't done it. Right. So let's see. So we click in here. Okay. Great. I just type hustle fund. Okay. Amazing. Now I click confirm. Was this a variable? Okay. So is the, it, it, it coaches you here. Is this going to be a variable? Is this thing some? Is this piece, this thing you typed in the search box, going to change every time? And it says that. Except I didn't even read it. In other words, will Hustle Fund change for each run, or will it stay the same? If it changes, you will want to bring in some custom data via Trigger or Google Sheets. Normally, after reading this, but people are like, "No, I'm going to search for this every time, so it's going to be no." Okay. Cool. Oh my God, it gives me my next step. Next step to do. And you see it did this, did this. To start the search, you want to press enter on your keyboard. Press keyboard below. Keyboard or key press. Oh my God. After you click the search field, then hit, oh. I like how you did that, Kyle. After you click the search field, right? Because it's click. It's you not press, a press enter. obviously, but that was a big button. That's more like a press. And now I confirm. Oh. <gasps> Holy and it's working. And it just did the thing on the right in the browser window. Okay, so far I'm getting this, you know? To click something on the page, we need to use a click step. Please click below. Please click, click below, Kyle. Cool, after clicking people, you can confirm this step. You may need to drag your window to see the people button. If you can't see it, try dragging your browser window to the right. Okay, that was good, Kyle. All right, click people. Boom, confirm. And it clicked people. And it now gave me my next step. Do you see how this is brilliant? Like, this is how the guides will work for every site, for every task, for every site. So we will build these faster and faster and faster because we're building the mechanism right now. So what we're going to have, templated guides or guided templates to use, okay? And every one will actually guide you just like that, step by step on what to do. Let me know, let us know in the comments if we could make that easier. Because people sometimes get stuck and I wanna point to this one great piece here. Shout out Hamza. Uh, dude, he posted this into uh, Ken Moo's LTD group. Um, Kyle sent me this. Shout out to Task Magic. Jeremy. We didn't pay him for this. <laughs> so thanks, man. But I do, I answer a lot of his effing emails. So we this is deserved. Kyle and J Jeremy and Kyle, especially. I'm glad my name is first. I had an issue and Kyle added an option to Task Magic. Perfect, just to solve the issue. But it does not end here. I'm glad. I made automation 
easy follow easy following their tutorials. Terrific, we're trying to make it even easier. We're trying to take our tutorials and add them inside the guide, just like you saw, right? So these videos will be, hey, you can do this, and here we put together this guide to do so. Please let us know if you like that, because I don't know how to make it any easier. Kyle? I don't think it could be easier. Kyle is coding. Okay, and the automation done in five minutes. Okay, now granted, and this is what I wanted to emphasize, was he put, it was just a simple automation though, right? Go to this link, click, right. That is why we're doing this. Because so many people are trying to do so much at the beginning when they're not, so, by the way, a bunch of our customers like Hamza have been doing very complicated stuff. Very, con and we're like, what the hell? How did you do this by yourself? We wish those people would chime in more and tell people. There's people doing but, more with the tool than I knew we could do with the tool. Yeah. And they don't say a yeah. thing to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, we have people, you know who you are. We have people that are like doing dozens of automations, like insane, crazy things, right? And for us, it's, it's so funny to see some of these things and go, okay, how can we make this better? Like, what can we do? Um, and these are some of the things that we want to do. So like making guides, having a starting place for people, um, making sure that like we can either automate the cookies piece or make it easy for you to do the cookies piece. Just like that. I don't know the exact time it was because we're filming this all together, but it's funny to see how quickly once I go through that with Kyle, because Kyle's an engineer, um, how easy it is and how easily digestible it becomes. So we're going, we're, we're combing through every single thing, trying to make everything easier and easier and easier um, to get started. Once you have the tenants to learn on how to use the browser automation to how to take data from one site and move it to the next or whatever, it actually becomes really easy to think about how you handle the complex issues. Like in one of the instances, remember when you, it just came up, is this a variable? right? And you can, and it describes it and it asks you if you're thinking, is this going to change every time? Yes or no. And it's like, no, that's going to be the same. I'm going to type hustle fund every time in there. Or is that going to be a variable I take from like a Google sheet or a previous step or an app? Is that going to be a different investment firm every time? Right? That was a great way to say that to me. Kyle, anything to add about the guides? We will be at, when will you be done with the guided mechanism where I can go in and just make them and we can push them? Uh, define done as in it working. I'll probably have you testing it tomorrow. Okay, cool. And then users so Thursday, Friday. Okay, so by, th by this week, we'll have more guides and I'll just be going through and editing them step by step. And like, you can help and you can be like, hey, I didn't understand this part in the guide. And we'll just make them. We'll try to make multiple a day, multiple a day, multiple, multiple, multiple. Because again, we want to get to the point where this is easy to use. And if you're stuck, let's try to unstuck you. All right. So Kyle, anything to add before we take off on the guided video here? No, I think it's good. I think people need to start with simple automations and build onto them or chain them together. I think that a lot yep. of people are building 150 step automations when they should have 10 five step ones. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah. It's a lot easier so, to fix a five step automation than 150. And again, sign up for a build session. We put out an email blast, we put out a video on it specifically. We want to find our that 1,000 true fans out there. Like, we have thousands of customers, thousands, thousands, thousands of customers, and even more users. And what we want to do is find 1,000 that will absolutely like, comment, subscribe, rate. We want to find the people who love. So if you don't love us yet, tell us, let us know what you need help with. We'll put together these guides. We'll do everything we possibly can. We'll give you cheap IPs and <laughs> make nothing on. Like there's so much we're trying. We're trying to deliver value every day, every day, every day. We'll get to the perfect solution for you.
Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to automate your life. I like spend it. more spend more time with your kids, right? With your family, with your friends. Right, Kyle? I mean, I don't sleep much, so I don't know. I well, just me work. neither. So, <laughs> I mean, we were on the phone at 1230 in the morning going over something. We're putting in the hours so you don't have to. There we go. Damn it. That's a good one. That's a good sign off. Dave, leave that in here. That's a really good sign off. We're putting in the hours so you don't have to. Okay, like, subscribe, say hi. Let us know if those comment, if the guides will be helpful. Here, signing off.